Sport tonight, Fernworth Primary School is the first in the South to embrace a new physical education programme called Cracker Jack. Former All Black centre Ironi Clark was in the city promoting the course with creator Sue Morris. Also putting the students through their paces were former stag Hione McDonald and former Tall Black and current Sharks coach Paul Hanare. Part of, a, part of um, Cracker Jack's programme since pretty much its origins, um, pretty much since its beginning, it was a programme that really came out of a heart of preparing um, children to winning the most important game of all, the game of life, um, which comes out of also the heart of the organisation that, that Cracker Jacks is part of quantum sport. And it's not just about really helping kids to prepare for life, but it's also even at those young athletes at the academy level, preparing them um, for the, the limelight, so to speak. That was a, That's another part of what we do at Quantum. Um, and it's, but Cracker Jacks, one part that I play here is involving a whole lot of both past and present elite athletes that have kind of lived that same value of the way I played, the way I've lived my life has an influence on the next generation. And so it's about those athletes who are mindful of, of, of positively influencing the next generation that I really start to bring together and use them, utilise them about speaking about their life stories at these launches. Because I can remember when Don Oliver, um, Brian Williams, when back in my, you know, those days, when they came to my school and they were talking about, not just about what they did in their sport, but a lot of the, the life values, the things that I needed about courage, the things about honesty and about, you know, about achieving and also about believing in yourself. And I think today, a lot of children, you know, the, the, you know grow up and they, they miss a lot of that. It's, it's easier for them to, to stop and give up and not do something. And, and I think that's what, what we want to do is bring back those values and, and say to them, come on, you know, if, if, you, if at first you, 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 you don't succeed, you know, try, keep trying again, find a different way. And it's those sort of values of perseverance, endurance, that we really want to help them to, to really make part of who they are. And who knows, they may go home and encourage their parents to get physically active as well, which, is, which you know, I mean, that's the ultimate yeah. goal, isn't it? That everyone's out doing something physical. Yeah. How important is it that, that parents are encouraging kids to get outside and play and that sort of thing? I mean, we hear that kids go home and switch on the Xbox. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's because, I mean, you know, but I, I, I feel for parents as well because we're so busy. A lot of parents have got to, you know, find another job or two jobs to just to keep things keep meeting the needs of our you know our kids you know that the older they get and all of a sudden the needs finance finances that you need to and so a lot of parents miss that time of really sewing back into their children these values and um, so the, the thing about about so kids now are sitting in front of xboxes and and when the game gets too hard Play sports on xboxes <laughs> isn't that ironic <laughs> and so and the thing about it so now but the thing about it though is that what they miss is when they're playing a game, a game whether it's a blood and guts game or it's a sports game or something like that, it's easy when you lose just to play reset or when it gets tough, reset. But when you're out and you're playing you're get in, in sport, you've got to, in every choice that you make is a consequence and you've got to deal with it then and there. And so what we want to do is help kids instead of looking to think well just press like press a reset button what that looks like in life is a kid says that's too hard for me i'm not going to do it um, rather than them getting there and just dealing with things and helping them to to really start to build that character there were a lot of organizations back in the day that uh, you know back in the you know in the, in the 50s 60s and 70s mm. where you had the brownies mm, boy scouts, scouts and, yep. and boys brigade that were set up to help kids to to build that life character in them, but they're not prevalent these days. It's it's not it's PS3, it's it's Xbox, and it's unfortunately, and parents are really really busy. So you know, I think now what what Quantum and what Cracker Jacks does, it comes alongside and helps the parents to be able to instill those those values um, while they're at school. And the great thing about it is that we teach the teachers to do that because the teachers have the relationship with the kids. So that's, that's a big part of what Cracker Jacks does. I really admire New Zealand sports people. They, they really punch above their weight. But, you know, how much more we could build into kids' lives if we've given them the confidence and the competence to participate in games? So, so maybe like two or three in a hundred students go on to become very good at a sport. But it is important that everyone's physically active, isn't it, for our well-being? 
Well, I often ask the teachers, can you name how many children you have taught that have actually gone on to represent New Zealand? And not many teach a child that's gone on to represent New Zealand. And if you look at the underlying concepts of, of health and physical education, it's about health promotion. It's about being able to participate actively. It's about somebody having the confidence to go down to the beach and throw a frisbee or play a beach game or play social netball. Um, a lovely story yesterday of a little girl who we're just playing a tag game and she was getting tagged a lot and we, and we talked about some of the movements that she could do to help and we turned to, we talked about twisting and changing direction and she went off and she I saw success in her and she came back and I said so did that help you and the smile on her face is the reason I teach and that we can give the kids, just like we give them maths and reading skills, we can actually teach them to participate more actively and change their attitude towards being active around so that we do develop their confidence and competence.